Hey, what's up, Solid Steppers? This is Miss Ward coming to you live, as always, from South Florida. I got one of my coolest uh, friends and partners in business with me, Melissa. We're talking about uh, the WorkEase app that you always hear me talk about, about how it helps me get my business in order, gives me the professional image, because y'all know I need a little polishing now and then. But hey, I couldn't do it without these guys. Um, it gives me great ways to manage my team, the GPS points of where my techs are. It helps them mask their phone calls. So when they're calling customers, no personal numbers are going out. You know, it keeps the business nice and professional. Not to mention I can shoot out invoices. I can manage the call flow through my CSRs and my dispatchers. And of course, some things that I have to pass off to my executive assistant. WorkEase has made my business so much smooth, so much smoother, and it's allowed me to scale at an exponential rate. So I have Melissa hanging out with us. She's going to hit some of the fine points that I may have missed. Hey, welcome to WorkEase. I keep telling y'all, get with the program. Thanks so much, Shell. It's so good to be here. Thanks for having me. And we love you. We love the content you're putting out. And we just love to hear that it's helping you make you feel like you run a you know million, billion, trillion dollar business, right? Those are all the things we love to hear here at WorkEase. I'm Melissa Merrill. I'm our partner development manager for the company. I'm here in San Diego. Always good to connect with people across the globe and across the country. So again, thanks for having me. Today, we're just going to kind of give our viewers some tips and tricks on productivity as a business owner, time management, prioritization. We've all got a million and one plates spinning and trying to get that bag and make that money, right? So how are we going to do that? We've got to stay organized. So we'll dive in. As far as productivity, I know, Shell, you mentioned, you know, the dispatching and setting the schedules. You want to speak a little bit to that and then I'll kind of, you know, throw in my two cents here and there. Absolutely, I'd love to. So if you look at the first top portion with the set schedules, that's great because it gives you windows and opportunities to set for your customers. Like I'm able to set schedules, but I'm also able to utilize the booking link aspect so that the customers can schedule their own appointments. And while they're scheduling appointments, we can dispatch the text accordingly. Also, WorkEase, of course, offers that awesome route management program with the maps so you can kind of put your certain guys. If I may have guys that's coming in Palm Beach, they're going to cover that particular area, Palm Beach and Port St. Lucie, or down south, we might have to drop down and take a dip, a dip down in South Beach. I know y'all want to come. Key West and Key Biscayne. So the wonderful thing about work is it allows us to manage all those areas. Yeah, it's so awesome to see, you know, it's run by Google Maps. You can actually see where your whole fleet is, where all your people are out in the field. I ran my own home organization business out here in California, and it was always such a pain in the you know what to try to figure out, okay, I've got these people in LA today, they can't work this job in Orange County. So I got to get these people from San Diego to go up to LA, you know, and it, it just makes everything so much easier, especially when you're a visual person, usually as business owners, you know, we're pretty creative, right? We're entrepreneurs. We've got to be innovative, creative, imaginative. And so we like that visual option to be able to see visually, okay, this is where these people are and these people are and these people are. I love that. Uh, what about your favorite topic, getting that money? Oh, absolutely. WorkEase makes it so much easier for me to communicate with my customers, send out invoices and get paid without having to chase that dollar. And you know, I like to have mine set up at the door. I like to walk in professional and prepared. And when it's time to send that invoice out, it gives me the opportunity to send the estimate up the invoice along with the warranty information, any other concerns that a customer may have in a professional format. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome to, you know, know that you are getting your ROI, your return on investment of your time, your energy, your process on the back end, all the investment you put into your business. The whole point is to get paid, right? Well, one of the main points, I know that you shall, you know, you give back to the community and you're up to lots of other things besides, you know, what you're doing at Laser Appliance. But getting that money for me and my business was always number one. And how do you do that? You've got to stay organized, keep on top of your paperwork, no more, you know, mailing snail mail invoices out, carbon copy receipts, everything's digital now. Welcome to the digital age. You know, you can get a text out to your customer. Hey, here's your pay link. Let's do this. 
You can email them automatically with one click. Hey, customize the message that you want to send them. This is your invoice, pay me now, <laughs> so on and so forth. Um, and, and with the scheduling too, you know, you don't have things falling between the cracks. It's a seamless transition from, okay, they call in, the lead gets put in, that lead turns into a job, that job turns into a payment and, and you're good, you're set, you're ready to go. Absolutely, and check, check checking out the phone system. The phone system works really great with that because we have an option where they already have it set up where the tech can hit the button, we're on the way, that notifies the customer via text that we're en route. The day before it sends our emails, verifies, we confirmations. Uh, also, I love the fact that the phones are truly automated. You have call cues, voicemail, you have an a, a entire call flow and workflow. So that if I, there are some calls that maybe need to be routed to me that are more technical, there are some calls that are things specifically for my executive assistant, and then the CSRs take care of all the uh, calls and reference to the work. So it's definitely a win-win, and it's all inclusive in this app. This is why I love WorkEase. Makes it easy. Yep. Yep. And you really do have it together. You know, you're growing, you're scaling, you're hiring. That's amazing. But the system is also good for one man, two man, three man shows. When I was, you know, running my business, residential decluttering, basically I was doing all of that manually until I found workies. So, you know, texting every single customer across the four people that worked for me, Hey, your appointment's tomorrow. Remember, hey, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, you're booked. You know, that was so much time. Think of how much time I was wasting just manually trying to add them to my phone, add the contact to my personal cell phone, by the way. So that's a whole other thing is, you know, if you're using, still using your personal cell phone, uh, there's a lot that can happen. You can get spammed, you can get hacked, you can get calls from weirdos at all hours of the day, right? When you're trying to run your business. So with Workies, my favorite piece of it was that, you know, I got a masked calling number, just like when you order an Uber, you're not actually texting that actual person, right? God forbid they actually have everybody's cell phone and, and you have theirs. Um, same with your Grubhub driver, your Postmates, your Uber Eats, you know, you never have their actual number. Why should, why should your customers have your actual number? So. Exactly. Love that. Yeah, get get with the program. I love whenever you say that. Get with the program. <laughs> hey. okay. So moving into more on time management, you know, speaking of all of that manual time and energy you're putting into texting customers, sending out paper invoices, having to write all these fancy emails out to them. Why not automate all that? On top of that, what about paper to-do lists? What about messy planners? Are you still using paper and pen, Excel docs, kind of scattered all over your computer, can't even find anything. I am, you know, very productive. I'm very organized. I'm very like OCD. And I know not everyone's like that, <laughs> you know, especially more of the creative, imaginative, innovative types that are out there running around and trying to, you know, grow and scale their business. So for me, you know, I do still do a few little paper to-do lists here and there, but when I found that I was growing, scaling, hiring more and more, it was so hard to keep doing everything on paper. What about you, Rochelle? Like with your new assistant, I know that you just love having the system, you can do everything all at once together. Yeah, well, the beautiful part about it is as the company grows, it allows you to delegate some responsibilities and still have a uh, follow-up. Like for instance, I can hand some things off to Tisha, she can knock them out, and then I can kind of check behind her without having a employee conflict or confrontational, and I can add points and then still let her go do her thing, and I can visually oversee everything that's happening right through the app. Um, the other piece is it allows, it, see, a, what people don't understand is how deep the app is. It breaks down your employees to where it's commission, who gets what, where, how, when you load them in. You are, it, it makes managing different types of texts differently, uh, easier. Like, for instance, you got a whole list for subcontractors, so they're paid differently than and the hourly employees, and it really works. I mean, at the end of the day, it works. It used to be where, you know, you might scribble something down on the paper, you're like, oh, I forgot about this customer. And the customer's calling saying, yeah, someone's supposed to be here. You don't want to be in those spaces, and you have time to navigate. You're going to have to be able to flex and, and move in, in the, any service industry, but if you can get to the customer and provide that information ahead of time and not get hit upside the head like so many of us get when the business 
because we're in high demand. I mean, service techs are rare, particularly in that appliance repair. So we want to maximize every opportunity. Yeah, and reputation <laughs> management is real. The digital culture is real. People love mm -hmm. reviews. We got a lot of Karens running around writing nasty reviews and not a lot of nice people writing good reviews, you know? So exactly. like, for every good review that you get, there's, you know, people lining up trying to write you a bad review. So make sure that you don't get yourself into those situations. You know, writing something down on a legal notepad might be good if you're a one-man show, but the more you try to grow and scale and really, you know, create your empire, you've got to get organized. You've got to start streamlining. The other thing too that you mentioned was, you know, when you have employees and you're, and you're working on performance management and training and onboarding, and getting these folks, you know, used to your business and how it operates, we have the call recording features. So, you know, it's a little big brother-ish. It's a little weird. It's a little creepy for some people, but for the business owner, for the CEO, that is your bread and butter. That is your, the face of your business, the people that are answering your phones, they need to be on point. And that's what you can manage and kind of, you know, do QA on, right? Quality assurance, just make sure that the job is getting done, it's getting done well, the customers are happy and they're being served. Absolutely, absolutely. I also like this part down here with the paid ads with no re return on investment and the trackable ad performance. This is how you be. A, this is how you really become a boss. And y'all know I like to spell it out: B A W S E. The way you become a boss is you take everything at your disposal and make it work. You know, you're able to track your Google ads, Yelp, Facebook, wherever they are, and you can track. And that way, you can get us get a, a true key performance indicator of where to put your money when it comes to advertising, if you're advertising that way. And then you also can grow that business. You know, the bottom line is you need to know where your money comes from so you can load all those dollars there and blow the market up. That's what I do. Yep. Yeah, because how many times have you tried to throw spaghetti at the wall, start being on Thumbtack and Angie's List and Home Advisor and House and Yelp and Google and Facebook and Instagram, and I could go on and on and on, right? There are so many new systems. How do you know which one to even put your money towards? How do you know what kind of content to put on there? You know, you, you don't until you see the numbers, until you see the data. You got to kind of play around a little bit figure out which swimming pool you want to swim in or which pond you want to, you know, dip your toes in and then go double down on the ones that are actually giving you return on investment of your time, money, energy, ad spend, marketing dollars, all that good stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. So prioritization, smart goals is one of my favorite things to talk about. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. There's a few different variations of that, like achievable or realistic or time bound. But for the most part, smart goals are where it's at when you're trying to grow and scale and create your business empire. Uh, I specifically also like to do smarter goals. So you never want to forget to evaluate and readjust. You know, as business owners, it's we should be setting goals, right? We should be sitting down saying, okay, it's quarter one. I, we're already halfway through quarter one. Okay, how am I going to hit my metrics? How am I going to hit my goals? Where was I last year? Do you even have a system that can show you that data? Okay, you know, beginning in 2020, where was I at? How many customers did I have? How many staff worked for me? How much? How many trucks did I have in my fleet? You know, you got to start growing, right? Otherwise, you're you're dying if you're not growing. So set those goals, and then don't be afraid to evaluate and readjust when things happen, right? Life happens, health issues happen, family issues happen, staff turnover, performance management issues, things happen, right? How do you evaluate and readjust and stay agile? Absolutely. You know, I'm a big proponent of, of smarter goals. And um, that's what I mean about being in 2021. Every time on my channel, you, you always hear me talk about, okay, it's the end of January. What have you done? The first quarter is coming to an end. I mean, we're in March. The quarter is about to be done. I'm a big proponent of the 12 week, 12 week year. And I'm able to plan my goals accordingly by using those tools. Yep. And key performance indicators also play into that. You know, what are those buckets that you're hitting daily, personally and professionally? You know, we have to stay healthy as business owners, especially field service techs, especially those are, that are out, you know, being around people that might be sick or driving around in long commutes, you get back problems, you get stiff neck, you get, you know, you have to take care Absolutely. of yourself. What are those KPIs? You know, are you drinking enough water? Are you getting enough sleep? 
Are you eating healthy foods? You know, all the things, right? Otherwise you're not gonna be the best business owner that you can be. With workies too, on those KPIs and goals, you can check tasks, you can add reminders for yourself, not just, you know, work-related reminders. If you need to add a reminder yourself to, hey, take a break between this client and this client, then if that's what it takes, then you got to do it. Yep. Absolutely. Using it, using the app to the max. Absolutely. Yep. And the on, on the go with the app is, you know, one of our best features, I would say. The app is super easy to download, super, you know, beautiful display, easy to navigate. It's not complicated. It's clean. It's clear. It's concise not overcrowded in any way. Uh, and you don't have to be on the desktop all day, right? If you're the business owner and you're out in the field trying to get that money, then we don't expect you to be sitting behind a computer all day, right? That's why you hire dispatch staff or assistants or office admin type staff, you know? Um, so as the business owner, if you're still out in the field, you know, you're serving those clients, you gotta have that app on your phone so you know where you're going, you can send those texts out to customers, Hey, I'm on my way. Hey, there's traffic. I'm going to be a little late. You know, the customer texts you back. Hey, I forgot to have a doctor's appointment, right? How many times does that happen when you're about to go to a job and they're about to cancel on you? <laughs> you know? Exactly. Exactly. And it just, it, it, you can put your arm around it. And that's the whole point. Workies makes it possible. The key is have your priorities in area in, in order. And the thing I always tell these guys, particularly the one man crews, you know, you get it down to a science by yourself and then add people. Because at the end of the day, until you're answering those phones, until you're being the administrative assistant, until you're being the tech, each area that you're going to put someone in, you should know how that works. And you got to learn how to use work ease to make it easier. Yep. And as a CEO, you wear all the hats. You see every side of the business, your marketing, your finance, your accounting, your admin, your COO, your CEO, your CFO, your all the things. Yeah. So it starts with one. You got to figure out the formula, yeah. make sure it works. Make sure you have that viable product too. You know, are you good at it? You know what your, your niche is, what your service offerings are, some things you might not be so good at. You might want not, not want to offer those right up front, right? And with Workies, exactly. too, you can customize all of that. So you can say, you know, hey, I only work on this type of appliance because that's what I was trained in. Or I only work on washer dryers. I don't work on stoves. I don't work on <laughs> this or that, you know? You can set all of that up in the system. Yeah, but there's a couple other things that we can't leave out. We can't leave the integration with Zoom. We can't leave out the integration with QuickBooks. We can't leave out um, the ability to even add inventory control in there across the different markets. Um, you know, and that, let's not even talk about the metro areas when they talk about how it changes. And I mean, I love that part of the app because believe me, Miami is a whole different service call than Broward. Okay, and we're clear, particularly in those highly congested areas. I was just down there yesterday, Miami Beach. It is what it is, but you gotta know your markets and the work ease makes that possible. Yep, yep, yep. And especially, yeah, like you said, big cities, if you're lucky enough to be in this trade in LA and San Diego and Austin and New York and you know, wherever you are, it can get really complicated, especially like down here in San Diego. It's huge. It's probably about a hundred miles from end to end in the county. And so you got to figure out where you're going, where your gas dollars are going, where your mileage dollars are going, how to track all those expenses. So again, I love that you mentioned the integration with QuickBooks, which is huge. And then you got to pay your people too. You got to pay all these people that are driving around. We also now integrate with Gusto. So if you need a payroll solution, we can hook you up with that too. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. So you want to talk about your deal that you got? Yeah, absolutely. If you guys use my link and you sign up for um, Workies, you get 30% off uh, the service for, what is it, Melissa, three months? Three months, yep. And it's just okay. workies.com, laser, uh, little slash appliance, little slash repair. She'll link it below in the, in the notes here in the video as well. Absolutely. And that way you sign up and you get 30% off for the next uh, three months. It gives you an opportunity to be exposed to, to what Miss Ford does. And at the end of the day, you've seen my business grow and like barely, yeah, a little over a year. 
and I'm looking forward to doing many more things with WorkEase. I just saw they got added some new external companies that you can take job referrals from external companies and manage. Like they show you a way to manage every piece of your dollar. And if you're an entrepreneur, you know, America's built on that. You know, this is what America's built on, the small business owners. You need to be able to have every advantage you can so you can manage accordingly. Yep. Yep. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you so much, Rochelle. We appreciate you. We love you here at Workies, and we're just so happy to see your business grow and grow, and all your viewers too. You know, you guys are here every day, showing up, watching these videos, learning lots, making yourself call yourself to more and up level, and I love it all. All right. Well, we we enjoy Workies. Workies is uh, Workies has not forgot about the small guy, and I personally appreciate it. I'm sure many other people do too. All right, take care. All right.